One of the most important public health advances in U.S. history was launched here in New Jersey 100 years ago. That's when Jersey City became the first in the country to disinfect its drinking water with chlorine. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Water began flowing from the Boonton Reservoir to Jersey City, 23 miles away, in 1904. The switch to this source lowered the incidence of cholera and typhoid fever, but didn't eliminate them. While the city pressured the water company to provide sewer treatment for communities upstream, a physician named John Leal, who suspected the main source of bacteria was runoff from streets and manured fields, suggested applying some recent research findings instead. The experiment in public health that was initiated here a hundred years ago had effects that rippled across the country and throughout the world. This is where chlorine disinfectant at a very low concentration was added to water flowing from the Boonton Reservoir to Jersey City on September 26, 1908. The cost at the time was 14 cents per million gallons, or $5.60 per day. The city's death rate from typhoid fever fell by more than 92 percent between 1906 and 1926. When you look at the charts uh, showing uh, deaths related to uh, cholera and typhoid, it's a classic example where they tapered off to near zero over time. Water companies used solid or liquid chlorine compounds in the early years and later chlorine gas. But then in the 80s, when safety became a concern, uh, they switched, many water systems switched off of a gas chlorine and went to use uh, uh, liquid chlorine or sodium hypochlorite, which is essentially uh, high-strength bleach. Operations manager John Hronsich cites other innovations in monitoring, filtration, and what's called settling, treatment with coagulants to pull solids out of the water. Technology that was uh, vintage 1978 is being replaced with uh, super scraper technology, which is, uh, allows us to remove uh, settled solids in the uh, sedimentation basin. Well, Jersey City has taken a proactive approach in uh, uh, updating its infrastructure. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Boonton Township.